Okay. Right. Now let's look at part A, question number six of the Combined Mathematics 2024 level paper. Right. So this is the integration question. So we are given that this region is enclosed by this curve y equals 0, x equals 1, and x equals square root 2. And then this is rotated about the x axis through 2 pi radians. Then we have to show what? We have to show that the volume of the solid generated is this one. So let's recall the volume formula that is a to b pi whatever function that is your radius fx squared dx. So here function is this one a and b are what a and b y equals 0 is the x axis so then x equals 1 and x equals square root 2 are your integration limits a is 1 b is square root 2 so let's write all of them down so volume is given by integral from 1 to square root 2 pi fx squared dou this whole thing squared 2 over x 4th root of 4 minus x squared whole thing squared dx right so now let's simplify 1 square root 2 take the pi outside then you have 4 x squared and fourth root becomes square root when you square it so you have this right so we have pi integral from 1 to square root 4 over x squared times square root of 4 minus x squared right so this one there's no direct way to find the integral so you have to use some other method so substitution works because why this is a squared minus x squared type so here we use what substitution x equals a sine theta or a cos theta and we can do this question right so we'll use that substitution so we'll take x to be what 2 sine theta then dx is 2 cos theta d theta right so and then when x equals 1 this is 2 sine theta sine theta equals half or theta equals pi over 6 when x equals square root 2 this turns into sine theta equals 1 over square root 2 or theta equals pi over 4 right so then we can write our integral in this form So for 1, I can put pi over 6. The new upper limit is pi over 4. You have pi outside. 4 on top. For x squared, I can put 4 sine squared theta. And here I can put 4 for x squared again 4 sine squared theta and for dx i can put 2 cos theta d theta now simplify pi over 6 to pi over 4 we can do what cancel anything you can cancel so 4 and 4 cancel We have 2 cos theta 
sine square theta and this turns into what this turns into 4 cos square theta so then take the square root you get 2 cos theta right d theta so again we can cancel 2 cos theta 2 cos theta then what we have is what pi integral from pi over 6 to pi over 4 1 over sine square d is cosec square theta d theta then integral of cos x square theta is what that is minus cot theta so now apply the limits and get the answer so we get pi minus cot pi over 4 is minus 1 plus sorry minus minus cot pi over 6 is minus square root 3 so then simplify and you have the answer square root 3 minus 1 right so that is the answer for question number 6 next we will look at question number 7